Hello everyone, this is Angela Navni. I am from the department of PhD psychology, an assistant professor here. So I would like to share a few things on one particular topic of which is really important in psychology, which is Abraham Maslow's hierarchy. Hierarchy, everyone is a part of hierarchy. Hierarchy is nothing but something which starts from low level and which ends in higher level. So a system that has many levels from lowest to the highest. So let's see something about Abraham Maslow. So yes, Abraham Maslow. Abraham Maslow was an American psychologist who was best known for his creation of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. He talks more on fulfillment of each needs a human should go through. And this fulfillment is innate for human needs in priority and culminating in self-actualization. What are needs? Everyone, everyone will have our own needs, but there are basic needs which should be fulfilled. A need is something that is necessary for an organism to live a healthy life. Take it for example, humans, animals, fishes, every, every single organism in earth does have needs. Only when lower order needs are satisfied can higher order be activated and serves as sources of motivation. A person is motivated only when their needs are fulfilled. Human motives may exist in hierarchy. As said before, this will work as a hierarchy. It starts from the lowest. Only when the lowest is fulfilled does the higher go through. So human motives may exist in hierarchy, so one must satisfy those that are more basic before moving on to ones that are less. So there are five stages of hierarchy which Maslow has given importance to. First is physiological need, second is safety need, third is love and belongingness, fourth is esteem and fifth is self-actualization. Physiological need and safety needs are basic needs. As we were saying, physiological needs and safety needs are basic needs. Only when these two hierarchy is fulfilled can we go to the next hierarchy. Love and belongingness and esteem needs are psychological needs. It's a need which is more of psychological. Manaridiyana or need. And self-actualization. Self-actualization is a state where you were fully fulfilled. So innate, let's see what physiological needs are. The physiological needs is a concept that was derived to explain and cultivate the foundation for motivation. As said before, motivation is only when the needs are fulfilled. This concept is the main physical requirement for human survival. This means that physiological needs are universal human needs. Physiological needs being primal are by default a governor on the attainment of a higher needs. When physiological needs are fulfilled, the higher order needs will be fulfilled irrespectively. Efforts to accomplish higher needs may be interrupted temporarily by the deficit of primal needs such as lack of food or air. So let's see what are the physiological needs. Air, water, food, sex, sleep, homeostasis, cloth and shelter. So these are the list of physiological need. Let's next jump on to safety needs. Safety, every single human being will want to have security. So that is the safety needs. Once a person's physiological needs are relatively satisfied, their safety needs take precedence and dominant behavior. In the absence of physical safety, you will create your own. The list of safety needs are personal security, emotional security, financial security and well-being. A person will want to feel secure in all these areas. Next, we'll jump on to love and belongingness. As a human being, we would like to be a part of someone's life. We would want to be loved. We would want to be belong to any, any group or any person. So this is the third level, which is the psychological need of a human being. 
The third level of human need is interpersonal, involving feelings of love and belongingness. Human processes an effective need for a sense of belonging and acceptance among social group. Regardless of whether these group are large or small, it depends, it depends upon person to person. A person would like to be a part of one person who is an introvert. A person would like to be a group, would like to belong to a group. They'll want the acceptance, love and to be belong to that group. Those people are extroverts. So human needs to love and to be loved both sexually or non-sexually by others. Many people become susceptible to loneliness, social anxiety, clinical depression in the absence of this love or belonging elements. If a human being is not a part of any loved one or any belonging one, he will be antisocial or that person will turn out to be someone who will not be involved in any social movements or in any social groups. Next, we will see what are the lists. Love needs are being a part of family, being a part of friend and intimacy. We will see what esteem needs are. Esteem needs are more of psychological. A person will want to give respect and take respect. That is how human needs run. So, when the lower version of esteem is the need for respect for others and may include a need for status, recognition, fame, prestige and attention. A person will want to have pride of what they do. So they will want attention from various actions they do. So the higher version of esteem is the need for self-respect which can include strength, competence, mastery, self-confidence and independence and freedom. So these are the things where a human person will fulfill their esteem needs. This means that esteem and the subsequent levels are not strictly separated. Instead, the levels are closely related. So giving respect to others, getting respect from others, it's, it's both relatable. So esteem needs are psychological needs. Next comes the self-actualization need. Self-actualization is a place where a human is fully satisfied. He has accomplished all the part of his needs. So let's see what it is. Finally, at the top of the hierarchy are self-actualization needs. This involves the need of self-fulfillment and the desire to become all that one is capable of being. That person would want to do anything, anywhere and with full confidence and zest. What a man can be, he must be. That's what self-actualization denotes. This quotation forms the basis of perceived needs for self-actualization. This level of needs refers to the realization of one's full potential. The desire to accomplish everything that one can to become the most that one can be. So attaining the full potential of a person is self-actualization. So as a human being, only when you are fulfilling these five stages can you be fully satisfied. There are few exceptional cases like monks, religious people who have, uh, who have let out their lists of needs cannot come inside this hierarchy because they they actually leave out all those all those needs to follow the religious norms and another person uh, for example a mentally retard cannot come inside that person will eat whenever they want will not want to be a part of a group or will will not want to have someone in their life their mental ability is succumbed so they can't go from the lower to higher. So these people don't come under this hierarchy. So basically what Abraham Maslow has said that only when a person starts from the lower level can he achieve self-actualization. So thank you so much. Let's all meet with a new topic next time.